TLC is the best-selling American girl group of all time with over 65 million records sold worldwide. The group was formed in Atlanta, Georgia in 1991 and their music and style helped define the 90s and left a lasting impact on black culture. But as time passed, they became well known for their chaotic personal lives that included drama within the group, high profile relationships, arson, rehab, bankruptcy, and serious illnesses. Most of the intense media scrutiny came from Lisa Lopez's relationship with NFL player Andre Risen. Here are the details about their stormy relationship. Now before I get into the video, I just want to let you guys know that I did work on this script months ago before Lifetime even announced that they were discussing the topic, just in case there's any confusion. Now let's get into the video. Uh, love works in mysterious ways. Check this out. Rapper Lisa Left Eye Lopez was sentenced yesterday for burning down her boyfriend's million dollar mansion. But she and Atlanta Falcon uh, football star Andre Rison still plan to marry. Lisa started dating Atlanta Falcons football star Andre Risen in March 1993. Andre was drafted in the NFL in 1989 by the Colts and was traded to the Atlanta Falcons. His NFL salary at the time was nearly $3 million plus endorsements, and he bought himself an $800,000 mansion in an exclusive neighborhood in Atlanta, which would be the equivalent to $1.3 million in 2019. His success also came with a lot of women, and him and Lisa began a tumultuous on-again, off-again relationship full of infidelity and domestic disputes. One time when I got home, I went upstairs and the bed is all made and his car is in the driveway. I'm like, what the, what's, what's going on? Where is he at? I went upstairs and he was in the room, in the guest room, but naked. And I just searched the room. I opened the closet door. There's a girl standing in a pink jacket with stockings on. And I was in total shock. I just couldn't believe it. Man, there were so many problems in our relationship. I was very jealous and very possessive. I didn't have any freedom. That's a big problem. Freedom. Anything. Ask first. I needed permission to do things. When we got together, they really didn't like for me to go out too much. So I just didn't go out. My mother and my father fought a lot. And, you know, I, I just react quickly to those kind of situations. So when Andre's grabbing on me and stuff, they turn into fights. Six months after making it official, the couple had gotten in an argument after leaving a nightclub and he allegedly physically assaulted Lisa and shot a handgun in the ear in an attempt to keep bystanders from getting involved. Police said Lisa went inside a grocery store when Andre began striking her with his fist around 3.30 a.m. When two men tried to intervene, he allegedly told them to get the hell out of there. Police said Lisa then ran outside while he went to his car and got a gun. Andre threatened a woman who offered a ride to Lisa and fired a shot at a wall outside the store. But he claimed he was only carrying a gun for protection. Andre was arrested in the parking lot for the beating, and Lisa was also arrested for attacking a police officer. Upon leaving jail, he said, First of all, I'd like to apologize to my organization and to my fans. All I was doing was defending myself. It was a matter of a situation where I thought I might be hindered or harmed, and I protected myself. He was charged with aggravated assault, discharging a firearm, simple battery, and carrying a pistol without a license. The charges were eventually dropped and the couple continued dating. Then on the night of June 8, 1994, Andre was reportedly out clubbing with his friends all night and returned home at approximately 5 a.m. in the morning of June 9th. Now there have been some inaccurate reports about what actually led to the house fire and some of the reports were claiming that Lisa found out that Andre had purchased himself a few pairs of sneakers and didn't buy her any so she got pissed and burned the house down. Then she started a fire and fled the scene. He set the place on fire because he'd just come back with dozens of pairs of new sneakers and he didn't think of picking her up a pair. So she took them all, threw them in the bathtub and just torched it. But that sounds extremely ridiculous and false. What actually happened was the couple arrived home around the same time after partying separately. The couple had an argument which eventually turned physical and Andre violently beat Lisa. 
and I woke up. And that's when I walked in the bathroom and looked in the damn mirror. And when I seen my face, I was like, I'm about to kill him. I had a big bruise right here <laughs> that went from the outside of my lip, flipped the lip under, to the inside. <laughs> damn. Damn, my, I didn't even, almost didn't even recognize myself. So, I was like, no. No. And then you wake up to fight. No, this is not happening. <laughs> I'm going to kill him. Andre then left the house and Lisa went into a rage and set fire to his sneakers in the bathtub. Then went outside and used a vacuum cleaner pipe to bust the windows out of two of Andre's luxury cars. The flames quickly spread throughout the house and the mansion was destroyed by the time Andre returned. Authorities issued an arson warrant for Lisa and she turned herself in the next day. Lisa was charged with arson and criminal damage to property and was released on a $75,000 bail. Luckily for both of them, the media's attention was now shifted to the discovery of Nicole Brown Simpson's body and OJ Simpson's infamous police chase. The incident was also a great promo for TLC's second album, Crazy Sexy Cool, although Lisa didn't get to record much content for the album due to her personal struggles. All four singles from Crazy Sexy Cool reached the top five, and two of them went number one and won two Grammys for Best R&B Album and Best R&B Performance by a duo or group with vocals. While promoting Crazy Sexy Cool as an apparent Joker publicity stunt, Left Eye and Company appeared in firefighters gear on the cover of Vibe magazine. I don't, you can be the hottest group in the world, but if nobody knows who you are, you're not gonna sell any records. TLC, Left Eye, Lisa Lopez was heavily publicized because of that incident, because of the fire. And I didn't have a problem with it because personal things that we go through it goes with the music. People aren't only interested in the music, but they're interested in us. They're all so strong, yeah. all what they've gone through. I love those girls, they're my babies. Despite their success, the members of TLC filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy with debts of about $3.5 million. And a lot of it was due to Lisa's insurance payments for the fire and bad deals they had signed with L.A. Reid. A portion of the debts also came from t Boz's medical bills for complications with sickle cell anemia. Andre accompanied Lisa in the courtroom and the couple held hands as they waited for the hearing to start. He said he had forgiven Lisa for the fire and planned on marrying her. She entered rehab for alcohol abuse and received five years probation and a $10,000 fine. While staying in the facility, Lisa was still desperate for his attention and started harming herself. I did this around seven years ago. It said love first and then I wrote hate on it. And as you can see, you can't even see love anymore. I carved love in my arm with a Lady Bic razor, one of those pink Bics. I carved I love Dre. I was in need of, of some attention. I was a little hurt, a little angry. I was serving time in the diversion center. And um, I don't know, he really wasn't really coming to visit like I would have wanted him to. And I was frustrated. There's no telling where he was, you know, where he had been and who he was dealing with while I was serving time. We've been through our fair share of <laughs> turmoil and experiences, and I think we've done a pretty good job at sticking together at the end of the day you know, coming together. So I'm, I'm pretty proud of that. I'm not a wild person, but if you're gonna compare me to the other two group members, you know, I have probably had the wildest um, statements. I have done a, a wild thing when, when Andre and I got into the house situation and the house burnt down, you know, and I think people saw that as like outlandish, like, oh, she's, you know. <laughs> It's not frustrating at all for me to get the type of attention that I get when the house situation happened, when the media 
wrote certain things about me and I was labeled as being crazy. At the end of the day, I did notice that it actually did help sell records. Seven years after the house fire, Andre told Hot 97.5 in Atlanta that him and Lisa were set to be married in the summer of 2001. Unfortunately, the couple never made it to the altar and broke up that same year. And of course, Lisa tragically passed away a year later. What do you guys think about Andre and Lisa's relationship? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and like this video and subscribe to Black Femininity TV for more content.